Do you feel stuck in a rut with your writing? Do you struggle to even sit down to write? Does the blank page seem to loom over you like a cloud, leaving you feel overwhelmed, uninspired and heading for Netflix? Well, don't worry, you're not alone. Many writers experience this same struggle, me included, and whether you're working on a novel or just trying to write an article, finding the motivation to get started or keep going can be really difficult. Fortunately, there are a few strategies that can help keep your writing motivation high. So writing can be a difficult task, and I've said it before, I'm not a huge fan of people who build their careers on the mantra that writing is hard, because I don't believe it has to be hard all the time. But like I said, it can be difficult. And whether you're an aspiring novelist or a professional writer, it's essential to stay motivated. But how do you do that? Well, having the proper motivation for your writing can make all the difference in completing your novel or any other written work. So strategy one, that's setting goals and rewards. So having a book coach who's expecting pages every few weeks is great, but even if you don't have one, setting goals and rewarding yourself for meeting them can be an effective way for writers to stay motivated and organized. And whether your ultimate goal is finishing a novel or just writing 500 words a day, setting aside that time each day or week or month will help keep that dream alive and give you something to work towards and reward yourself when necessary. If you meet a daily word count goal, treat yourself with an ice cream or a workout or whatever gets those endorphins going. Create a positive writing environment. So are you ready to turn your writing dreams into reality? Whether you're a first time novelist or an experienced writer, creating a positive writing environment is essential for success. When it comes to working on that novel, it's important to create a comfortable space where the magic of creativity can take place. Make sure your chair's comfortable. There's enough natural and artificial light for you. I prefer a warm light in the evenings. Um, Others prefer cool white. And that your screen is at the right height. The top of the screen should be level with your eyes. And then minimize distractions like the latest copy of Vogue, guilty, or the new action figure you just bought, also guilty. And then setting up your workspace with success in mind is really worth the effort. So grab yourself a drink of choice, put on some good music, that's assuming you can think through music, and get those words down. With a little effort and dedication, you'll be well on your way to achieving all of your wildest writing goals. Strategy three, take breaks and recharge. When it comes to writing a novel, taking breaks and recharging can be one of the most important steps in the process. And for some writers, this step can often be forgotten or overlooked. But if you're serious about writing a book, then taking time out should never be overlooked. As any good book coach will tell you, it's important to take regular breaks throughout your project and make sure you get enough rest during the process. After all, when we're exhausted or overworked, we tend to start making mistakes and our creativity begins to suffer. So make sure that you rearrange your work schedule so that you have enough time for taking breaks from your novel. Take time out every now and then and do something completely unrelated to writing. Strategy four, break down large projects. So breaking down large projects into smaller, more manageable tasks can be a challenge for even the most experienced of writers, but it doesn't have to be an overwhelming process. No one should attempt a major writing project without first talking with their coach or their mentor if they have one. A professional in the writing world will help you create an outline that enables you to plan out each step of your story. So I personally use Author Accelerator's Inside Outline with my clients and then manage the timeline for completion. They will also provide insightful advice on what elements need attention and how best to go about tackling them. And once you have a plan in place, remember that breaking down your project doesn't mean taking away from its quality. It means adding clarity to the overall structure of your work. It's important to set aside time and commit to writing, no matter how much or little you accomplish. For instance, some writers find they best write when they're on a tight deadline. Others prefer to have more flexibility with their creative process. And either way, having some sort of schedule will help ensure that you never miss an opportunity to put words on paper. If you're struggling to find the motivation to write, I can recommend two fantastic approaches. The first one is the atomic habit. Now, I'm oversimplifying James Clear's Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones, but for writers it boils down to this. Write one sentence, even one word, 
every day. And that's easy, right? All you have to commit to is one sentence. So one word is more than zero words. One sentence is more than zero sentences. Chances are when you sit down to write that sentence or that word, you'll carry on writing. But if you're not feeling it, stop. You're still making progress and that's still motivating. Then there's the two minute rule. Uh, it's a variation on the atomic habit, but spend two minutes writing because two minutes is more than zero minutes. Again, you'll probably carry on writing, but if you're not feeling it, stop. You're still making progress and that's still motivating. And then the fifth and final strategy is to connect with other writers. Do you feel like you're writing in a vacuum? Are your ideas bouncing off the walls of your imagination with no one else around to appreciate them? Well, you don't have to go it alone. There are plenty of opportunities out there for writers looking to connect with other authors. Maybe you need a sounding board for confidence or an outside perspective on your latest novel. Or maybe you just want someone to celebrate your successes and commiserate over setbacks. No matter what stage of the writing process you're in, connecting with other writers can be incredibly helpful. So whether you choose to join a local writing group or hire a coach who either writes or is trained to get it, there's no better way to get motivated and stay on track than by reaching out and forming relationships with others who share your passion for storytelling. In my time, I've created two writing groups, Writeball in Essex and the Hertfordshire Writing Group, which you guessed it, is in Hertfordshire. Uh, and by the way, the Hertfordshire's writing groups anthologies are out now. And every writer is encouraged the others to get their stories finished on time. But each month we set our intentions for the following month. So here's an example of one from January. And the list goes as this. Upload maps to World Anvil and label them. Edit 24 scenes and plot a story for April's camp NaNoWriMo. Write a proper outline for my work in progress. Finish the new chapter. Redraft everything up to Act 3. Finish outline for Project X. Write another 10k of my work in progress. Finish the final chapter of my work in progress. Then after the meeting, I post those intentions on our Facebook group for everyone to see. And then during the next meeting, we checked in with each other. And most of them completed what they intended and said, and I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't had come to this meeting. So final thoughts. Writing motivation requires a bit of effort, but it can be done. And whether you choose to reward yourself for completing each writing task, use an app to track your progress, or join a writing group that motivates you, there are plenty of ways to keep yourself motivated. But it's important to remember that writing motivation is an ever evolving process. So take some time to reflect on what works and what doesn't work for you, then adjust your approach accordingly. Who knows, you might even come up with a few strategies of your own. So go on, write with confidence. The world needs more great stories and you're the one who can write them.